Play It Right TV followers and fans. Ito po si Kinito Hanson welcoming you to another episode ng Play It Right TV. Huwag niyong kalilimutan, like, share, subscribe. We already know who our guests are in this episode because they're already in our frame. The Tengs. Newly married, Jeron Teng and Janine Choi Teng. Congratulations sa inyong dalawa. Thank you, Sir Kinito. Thanks for having yes. us here. And we want to say hi to all the viewers of Play It Right TV. Well, I'm so excited to uh, talk to you. Um, I wasn't able to go to your wedding, but uh, we were represented by our daughter, Christina, and her husband, uh, Mark. But uh, she was telling us glowing stories about uh, your wedding. But bago natin pag-usapan yung wedding ninyo, at I'm sure marami tayong uh, kwento tungkol doon, I just want to find out kung pwede, no? Paano ba kayo nagkatagpo? How did you guys meet? Was it in school? Was it... In a party, uh, what were the conditions? What was the environment like? I'm gonna tell our story. So we met when I was still a, when I was still a courtside reporter back in Lasa. So 2014 was the year we first met. So it's been a while since we we've yeah. known each other. <laughs> so she was the courtside reporter in Lasa in 2014, 2014 and 2015 actually. Pero we started dating mga towards the end of 2015. Yeah. yeah. So that's and how... At that time, at that time Jiron, when she was a courtside reporter, was she harassing you for comments? <laughs> was she badgering you for interviews? Um, and when you saw her asking for interviews and uh, I guess uh, going to the dugouts and uh, listening to what yeah. was going on with the coach, uh, na you ka ba? Na sino ba itong courtside reporter dito nakikialam? <laughs> never, okay. never know what I'm saying to Actually, okay. you weren't there at the wedding, Sir Kinita, but we had an inside joke eh, who, who made the first move between us. Okay. And si Janine, because um, yung time na, syempre, she had to interview players from Nasal. I joined that time, I was team captain. So she'd go to me often to to ask questions. Eh, there's one time na nagmamadali ako, parang may lakad data ako. And I told Janina, Janine, just get my number because I'm in a hurry. So, so I'm going number. Yeah. Number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yun yung, ano namin, that's how we started texting. And uh, okay. naman, we really started off as friends, um, co co-workers. It was very professional at the yeah, beginning. Yeah. In fact, our ABS bosses talaga were telling us, wow, <laughs> <laughs> don't leave the players, keep it professional. So we really kept our we really yeah. kept it professional at the beginning. It was at the end of my stay. Yeah, that's why it was the court when we Yeah. Oh, it okay. was very spontaneous. Spontaneous, ah. Pero, Jeron, nung binigay mo yung telephone number mo kay uh, Janine, naisip-isip mo ba? Ba, ito? Pwede na ito. Ha? Pwede na uh, mag-umpisa ang bago <laughs> na chapter ng buhay natin. Naisip mo uh, ba yun? Hindi. Siguro... During that time, I was sure intention na uh, like uh -huh. to become girlfriend again or what. Pero siguro I was interested to get to know more about Janine. So that time, talaga friendly lang na getting 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 to know more of each other. And you guys were both in the La Salle campus. Janine, what were you taking up? And Jeron, what were you taking up? Were you ever classmates? No, unfortunately okay. not. Pero nung naging kami na, he would fetch me after class, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Smart si Janine, eh. College of Engineering to eh. Ako, College of Business. So, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, we were never school classmates in the side. So it's very nice because I took up Industrial Engineering and Jeron, Team Captain, Dean's Lister, plus Business Management yan ha. Alam ko, alam ko. Okay, and so... Um, did sports get you guys together, you think? Yes, yes. of course. Mm -hmm. Up until now, sports plays a big part in our lives because I understand uh, basketball because of my course tight stint. So, so para, I think because I understand his life more also. So the transition as husband and wife wasn't that difficult. And I think that's why we lasted that long also because I understand what he does. I respect what he does, and I love that he loves what he does. Yeah, what's nice about Janine is she truly understands my career path. Like for example, if I have games, na she knows na I have to get some rest, to sleep early. Um, and you know, Sir Kanita, the, the funny part is when you were starting to date, 
nagulat ako na how important to rest was. Parang <laughs> lagi siya nagpapahinga. Doon yung huwag tayo mag-date tayo ni Therese. So, I think early on na instill na yun sa amin dalawa yung resting. And I think Jaron appreciates that part more. And I really value his recovery. Uh, what about your family backgrounds? Uh, everybody knows about Jaron's family. We all know about his father, Alvin, a PBA star, his mother, Susan, always a fixture in every game that Jaron and Jerry play. And Janine, we also know that you have roots in Hong Kong. Your family backgrounds, how did they jibe? I think it was easy also for us because we're both Chinese Filipino. So we're both from, we're, we both have Chinese blood. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're parents are from the Fuxian province in China. So, may parang instant connection. Even when our parents met, there was that instant same province connection. Ah, so same province? Paul, what a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> nice coincidence. So, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, now let's go to the wedding. Okay, that was the big moment. And, Jeron, my question to you, nandung ka sa altar? Tapos nakikita mo si Janine walking down the aisle. How did you feel? Did you feel like crying or anong pakiramdam nung nakita mo si Janine walking down the aisle, looking so beautiful and looking so radiant? Um, actually, it made me teary, teary eyed for you dito. Mm -hmm. Pero during that time, parang parang uh, parang I was overwhelmed. Eh. Yung when she was walking down the aisle, actually, hindi ako lumuha nung walking down the aisle niya. It's more, yung part na ng when we were at the altar, when we were in front, tapos it all sunk into me na we're married na. And, and you know, it, parang this, this, that was the moment na I, I was always been praying for it to end up with someone, you know, who's perfect for me, who's gonna take care of me, who's gonna love me. And yun, sakto si Janine yun eh. So, Medyo late yung, yung tears ko that time, pero yeah. And what about ikaw naman, Janine? At the point when your father gave you away, what was the feeling like? Actually, for my family, even prior to the wedding, we were telling each other, no crying because it's a happy day. So <laughs> let's make it more laughter, more smiling. So we really tried to hold back our tears and we tried to remember, okay, we're not gonna cry today because today is a happy day. And in terms of naman my dad giving me away, wala eh. Far, I didn't feel that way. It mm -hmm. felt more of like the family growing, the family getting bigger talaga. It was more of si Jaron, my dad gaining a son eh, not him giving me away. Mm -hmm. So that's what it felt like. It, it, so it wasn't sad. It was more like, lumalaki na yung familia natin. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> At lalaki pa yan once you have your children. <laughs> but uh, again, okay, now, now we go to the reception. Okay, um, such a major uh, event. I'm sure there were several highlights. See, Christina, our yeah. daughter, said that uh, you lifted uh, um, Janine during the dance, and Janine, kumanta ka raw. Ano ba nangyari doon? Oh, were these things planned? Did you rehearse these moments? Actually, our first dance, we really rehearsed it. Pero, actually, no rehearsals nga, we couldn't perfect it, pero... For some reason, during the <laughs> ceremony, it's perfect talaga namin eh. Like zero mistakes, some perfect really? time. Uh -huh. Yeah, and... I think because before the stage, before the, the LED open, we were like, okay, this moment is ours, and let's just make <laughs> fun. Yeah, so we ni lift ko talaga siya, so we practiced talaga namin yun. I think that's a dance namin nag dalawang lifts kami, so successful naman yung lifts. Yeah, oh oh. Ano, ano? Magaling naman si Janine. Eh. <laughs> 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 yung kanta mo naman, Janine. Uh, <laughs> the same <laughs> was very spontaneous, Sir yeah. Kenito. It, huh? oh. <laughs> it was very spontaneous kahit yung dad ka nag-join. Kasi suddenly our host was singing a Chinese song. And he okay. saw me singing along with him. So he's like, tara, let's sing. Tapos ayun na. <laughs> okay, the song was in Chinese. Um, can you tell us what that song was about? It's a song that we always sang actually. So if you actually ask my siblings to sing with me, they can sing with me. If my mom was there, we could sing it as a family actually. <laughs> and then, uh, Jeron, as they were singing, I don't know what I'm feeling more. What about your parents? Were they also there ready to sing um, Alvin and Susan? 
Actually, my parents aren't much of a, of a, of a singer. They don't sing. But they, we all know of the of the song Janine Sang. Uh-huh. It's a famous Chinese song. And okay. ako di ko lang memorize yung lyrics, that's why I didn't sing. But I was really so proud of Janine for yeah. um, going up the stage to sing because she doesn't usually <laughs> sing. But it was it was a happy day. It was a happy night. That's why. Spontaneous comment na lang si Janine. You know, all your loved ones were there. All your friends, um, your family, and people who supported you. From day one of your uh, playing career and Janine, from day one of when you started to be the woman that you are. So, you know, sharing that moment, I think, uh, was very, very special. Uh, among your former teammates, uh, Jeron, sino yung mga... Nando doon at saka yung mga lumapit sa iyo na siguro uh, joking you or uh, pulling your leg at anong mga sinasabi nila um, nakita ko sina Jason Perkins sina Norbert yeah. Torres nando doon Asi kasi sa grito di ba yun nga yung love story namin started back in Lasal so mostly marami kaming guests na from Lasal yung mga of course the yung mga managers they were all there of course yung mga teammates also nando kasi they saw how we started how we started eh. so yeah yung mga batch 2013 na nag champion sila Jason Norbert Almond almost everybody everybody was there tapos meron din batch 2016 sila sila Jolo sila Thomas so yun, Coach Juno was there Coach Juno was there Coach, Coach, Coach Juno yeah so I think I saw his picture as well well such a nice uh, gathering and uh, parang very sentimental yung nangyari doon no? and uh, super congratulations to all of you now what about plans for a family what are your uh, what's in the horizon how many children meron ba kayong pinag-uusapan tungkol diyan gusto ko namin dati dalawa lang pero parang padagdag na lang padagdag <laughs> baka maging three baka maging four oh, okay pero, we'll see right now um I think we're at the right age also. Yeah. We've been together for a long time and we're very excited to be parents if we're blessed soon. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you're also very focused in your respective careers. Um, Janine, we know that you work uh, um, out of an office. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you do during the day? Uh, sure, sir, can you tell us focus on Jaron? <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's focus on Jaron's work. Na lang. Okay, okay. But I mean, you know that uh, you're also a professional and that you're applying what you've learned in school, in uh, in your career, your chosen career. And uh, well, getting back to Jeron, uh, you won two uh, UAAP championships. And then uh, at Lasal, you also won a championship in the PCCL. So many, uh, so many accolades. And I remember when you were in high school at Xavier, did you not score more than 100 points in one game? Tama ba yun? Yeah, meron. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and so those are all all milestones in your career. But one thing I've noticed, since you entered the PBA, you haven't won a championship yet. But you think that championship is coming soon? Um, Definitely, I have a bigger chance of winning right now. Now that I'm in San Miguel, of course, we all know San Miguel is a strong team. And every every season, every conference, San Miguel is really one of the contenders. So I'm really grateful, and I'm blessed with the opportunity to play for San Miguel. And I'm not gonna let that op- opportunity go to waste. I'm, I'm really gonna do my best to contribute in whatever way I can, and hopefully, magchapen kami. Joran, barami kang natutunan sa mga coaches niyo. Um, from Juna Sauler, and then uh, you were coached by uh, Aldin Ayo, of course, and then Jeffrey Cariaso. Now you're being coached by George Gallant. How do you feel um, being coached by someone like uh, George, who is often described as a player's coach? Ano ba matutunan mo from Juno, from Aldin, from Jeff Cariaso na madadala mo sa San Miguel? Well, okay, Coach George, I've been with the team for a week pa lang now. And from my observation, I think, like what you said, he's really a player's coach. Um, in practices, he tell me na, just play your game. Huwag uh, ka dito para ka right away. So what's nice about the 
not only Coach George, but the other coaches as well, as they really help me adjust quicker. And from the from my previous coaches, medyo similar lang naman na syempre na you have to be a two-way player in order for you to get minutes. You, you, you don't have, parang, you don't have to just play offense, kailangan mo rin mag-defense and you, you need to involve everybody. So, it's almost the same lang naman. It's just more of the the plays that we run. Medyo different lang. And... Yeah, I mean, see, Coach George, I'm really excited how to play for him. Dahil, you know, um, I think he's. Ano he, rin eh, may link na siya magpatawa si Coach George. Eh. So, Talaga? Oh, oh, yung energy niya, yung energy niya he brings to practice, medyo positive eh. Yung ano mo yung uh-huh. nag, 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 nag-joke around, tapos, ano, so yeah. Well, uh, I know for a fact that, Jeron, that maraming team were knocking on your doors. Uh, hindi na natin sasabihin kung sino-sino yung mga team na yun. But uh, I do know because several coaches actually called and asked uh, about you and about your ugali. And uh, of course, everything was glowing, hardworking, um, always first to practice, last to go home, um, always uh, looking to improve himself. Those are all the traits of a Jaron thing. And I think uh, that's a big reason why uh, the San Miguel group, uh, particularly San Miguel Beer, got you. No? How was the welcome? On your first day of practice, your mga players nandoron, how was the welcome for you? Um, it was a warm welcome. Especially, kasi San Miguel, kahit dati kalaban ko pa lang sila, yung mga players dito sa San Miguel, these are the guys that I look up to eh. Yung mga kuya ko na to, sila Kuya Chris, sila Kuya Junmar, Kuya Marshall. And during my first practice, nagulat ako na sobrang um, warm welcome yung binigay nila sa akin. And ito rin yung mga kuya ko, yung may ibang players. Um, lahat, lahat, lahat ng players talaga, tinulungan talaga ako mag-adjust quicker, tinuturuan talaga nila kung paano, how we run things at here at San Miguel. So, I'm really fortunate hindi lang dahil sa coaches ko but also sa mga teammates ko na tinutulungan ako maka-adjust right away. Jeron, yung role mo naman sa San Miguel, are you going to be playing more two or more three? Are you going to be moving from two to three? Are you going to explore playing other positions? Um, I think with San Miguel, I'll play two and three. Okay. Putting guard or small forward. Okay, and then uh, what about uh, um, sharing minutes with players who also have similar roles? CJ Perez is someone who is also a two-way and two-three player. Ganon then si Jericho Cruz, um, Marshall Lasseter, ganon then. So you guys are cut in the same mold. Um, how do you think you're going to be playing with them in that kind of a system? Um... As of now, because I haven't played the tune-up game. Actually, tomorrow is my first tune-up game. Ah, really? Oh. Yeah, tomorrow. So, I'll know by then. But, of course, I'll always be ready. Lang. My mentality is, you know, to always be ready. So, when my number gets called, you know, I'll be able to produce and I'll be able to contribute to, to San Miguel. So, yun know, naman yung thinking ko lagi. And, you know, um, yun, like sinasabi ng, ng mga teammates ko palagi na, Mas maraming bala para sa amin sa San Miguel the better dahil especially you know San Miguel lagi mo pasok ng playoffs so kailangan deep talaga yung lineup sa playoffs and you know I'll just be ready and whatever whatever role San Miguel needs me to play I'll be ready because I'm a team player and what's really important is for us to win a championship yung common goal namin to win a championship so everybody has to play their own roles so that's what I'm gonna do. Jeron, yung leader ng team, actually marami, no? But someone who has been an inspiration to many of the San Miguel Beer players is definitely Jun Marfardo. Ang ginagawa niya for someone who has accumulated six MVP trophies and yet he goes out there, um, works his butt off, game in, game out. At uh, naikwento rin sa akin ng San Miguel uh, Sports Director, Al Francis Chua, nung... Uh, Kinausap niya yung mga players to play for Gilas in the Asian Games. And uh, there was a possibility that kasi kulang sila ng player, baka mag-withdraw na lang. Si Jun marang unang-unang tumayo at sabi niya, hindi tayo susuko, lalaban tayo hanggang dulo. Is that something that you see in Jun Mar? That leadership, that inspiration that he gives? Actually, si Kuya Jun Mar, well-respected ko talaga yan. Um, mm-hmm. 
kahit magkalaba pa lang kaming before, sinasabi ko na sa Pijanin, sa family ko na si Kuya Julma kahit sa loob ng court, very mabait eh. I mean, kahit may mga konting small talks during the game. Um, and despite everything he achieved, despite all the MVPs, the championships, parang he never changed eh. He's still the same humble, parang gentle giant. So, sobrang bait talaga ni Kuya Julma eh. So, Especially at yung my first few practices ko, sobrang bait talaga niya sa akin. Lagi niya ako kinakausap and you know, congratulate niya ako. And you know, to have someone like him as our leader sa San Miguel, it's really a big boost eh. Dahil you have someone who won multiple championships pero still works hard. He's still there every day sa practice and walang kayabang yabang, you know. It's a, dom- it's a domin- domino effect for us eh. I mean, he's the... He's the role model that we look up to. Janine, yung uh, pagsasalita ngayon ni, uh, ni Jeron, you know, I can feel that he's so excited, that he's so happy. What about you? Um, being his lifelong partner, um, his new bride, what can you say about Jeron's big career move to go to San Miguel Beer? My answer will always be wherever is happiest, where I'm happy. As long as I feel wow. happiest, okay. my sense of fulfillment also. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so nice. That's so nice. Uh, Jeron, just um, as we wind down this interview, you know, I just want to find out about your thoughts on the national team. Because I know you also played for the national team already. Back in uh, 2017, I think you played in the FIBA Champions Cup. And then you also played in uh, several 3x3 competitions. Uh, Kiefer Avena was a teammate. Bobby Ray Parks was a teammate. Um, and you played uh, in the 3x3 World Cup. So can you tell can you tell us about your feelings representing the country? Kasi yung nangyari sa atin sa, um, uh, sa Asian Games in Hangzhou, China, was a... Uh, was an incredible feeling. Kasi after 61 years, naipanalo natin yung gold medal sa Asian Games. No? So, you being a national player yourself, how would you feel nung nangyari yun and how do you think this euphoria, this celebration of our victory will impact on the PBA? Actually, sobrang happy talaga ako na nag-champion tayo. Especially, you know, um, a lot of people didn't expect us to win at Asian Games dahil with, with what everything that happened. And you know, it's amazing how the, the, the players really showed their heart hearts out nung, nung Asian Games. I mean, um yun, ev- maraming doubters, maraming maraming mga haters nga na didn't believe in our team. Pero you know, they all they all stuck together and I think you know, um, si Boss Al Francis also did a good job, great job on, you know, handling everything and, and motivating the players. And, you know, as a, as a player myself, playing in the PBA, sobrang happy ako na, you know, we showed the country na we're up there. Eh. Now, mm-hmm. the Philippine basketball is improving. Philippine basketball is, you know, it's up there. It's one, is Tayong, tayong gold eh. So tayong nasa taas ngayon ng Asian yeah, Games. Oh, oh. That, that says something. Na yeah. <laughs> lahat ng ginagawa natin dito sa program pala sa mga bata, sa mga college, sa PBA. It shows na may progress tayo eh. And we're mm-hmm. heading we're heading to the right direction kasi nanalo tayo mm-hmm. after 61 years, di ba? Yes, so, oh. You know, But, as, as a player, parang uh-huh. sobrang nakataba ng puso and yeah. parang ano tayo it's it's something to be proud about in, yes in yes for sure oh, oh. but uh, my question to you Jeron is okay nakalaro ka na for uh, the national team in several yeah. competitions overseas but you're also a uh, fixture in the PBA what is the difference uh, what is the feeling like playing in the PBA for your team um, as a livelihood and playing for your country it's really different because eh? I think PBA there's a lot of you know there's a lot of games there's a lot of conferences every year unlike if it's a national team you know every game is really super important eh? and it's different representing your country I mean you know it may be cliche pero 
so playing for national team what's really important is the 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 pride, pride that you that you represent playing for the Philippines hindi na importante yung kung sino yung nasa likod yung nasa harap ng the Philippines yes. and sa Philippines you have the whole country behind you eh diba and and i've experienced that no 16 under 18 under even when we're, you're playing abroad players sa china pagdating sa basketball yung mga pinoy talaga maggrabe magsusuporta talaga yan eh mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yeah yun yung feeling na playing for the national team playing for the gilas parang you have the whole country behind you who's supporting you so iba yung motivational boost that it gives the players Well, Jeron, last topic natin is about the PBA Commissioner's Cup. Pag-uumpisa na yan, November 5, you've got an import, si Tyler Stone. Tell us a little bit about his style of play and also your expectations because I think paglaro mo on your first game for San Miguel Beer, all eyes will be on you. People are going to be asking, the fans are going to be asking, kumusta kaya ang laro ni Jeron Teng? Tutugma ba ang laro niya sa San Miguel? Is that extra pressure on you? So tell us about your expectations sa Commissioner's Cup, yung import niyo, and also how you'll handle the pressure being the new kid on the block for San Miguel. I think our import si Tyler, he's, he's, he's a great player. And I, Tyler can like hit the lights out. Sobrang shooter talaga siya. Mm-hmm. And I think... It fit well with Kuya Julmar. That I'm not just Kuya Julmar. You know, he really attracts the defense. So to have someone like Tyler who can spread the floor, and you know, he's not only he's not only a shooter, but he's also he's he's a baller. And, you know, he can really put the ball down and attack the rim. And you know, he's, he's also a good teammate. He listens to his teammates, and you know, he communicates well. So I think you know, the imp- important characteristic is some important. And for the pressure that you mentioned, I mean, anywhere, naman, everywhere, um, there's always pressure in basketball. And, you know, I, I embrace the pressure. And, you know, I just have to stick with what we do as a team. I mean, no, no pressure sa, sa akin personally. I just have to really do my part and play my role. And, you know, hopefully... Lahat ng hard work ko, not only in practice but also yung mga extra work ko outside. I, ho- I hope na it translates sa uh, panaglaro na for San Miguel. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure it will translate. Well, Jeron um, and Janine, two doors have opened up in your life. Um, number one, your newlyweds, and uh, the door is open for a beautiful life together. And pangalawa, your career as a professional basketball player. This is a major development. Um, joining San Miguel Beer and being embraced and warmly welcomed by your teammates and the coaching staff and the team management because uh, I think they know what Jeron Teng is capable of doing. So do the fans. And we're just so excited about the future that's in front of both of you. Jeron and Janine, congratulations. And thank you very much for uh, gracing our show, Play Try TV. And before we let you go, perhaps you could just... Uh, Um, say a few words, maybe of thanks and also of uh, inspiration to all of your fans and all of our viewers. Uh, we'll start off with you, Janine, and then maybe Jeron can end it. First of all, Sir Kenita, thank you so much for having us on our show. Uh, thank you to all the viewers who are watching also, and thank you to all the fans who have supported Jeron throughout his career from La Salle, D-League, to BBA, from all the teams he transitioned. So I'm really grateful for all the fans who supported him throughout all these years. And Jeron? Um, yun, sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa akin, maraming salamat. And sana tuloy-tuloy nyo lang yung pagsuporta sa akin now na I have a different team sa San Miguel. And to all the fans of San Miguel, I am really excited to meet all of you and to see you at the games. Because we all know, grabe yung mga fans ng San Miguel. Sa parang pa ng dad ko yan, grabe yung mga diehard fans ng San Miguel. <laughs> so, you know, I'm really excited to, to meet you guys and to see you at the games. And we promise to really just work hard and hope to make you guys proud. And, yeah. Well, thank you very much. The thanks, uh, Janine and Jeron, RoboCup Junior. Um, I'm sure RoboCup Senior is very proud. And Susan will be watching all of your games along with Janine's family 
always supporting your career and loving each other. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa for coming on to our show and uh, we super enjoyed this conversation. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, jumpo nagtatapos ang ating exclusive interview with uh, not only Jerome Teng but also his uh, new bride, si Janine Choi Teng, uh, our newlyweds. And as we mentioned, uh, a new life has opened up for both of them. And for Jerome Teng, yung kanyang career has taken a new twist. Bagong player siya ng San Miguel Beer. At uh, I'm sure sabik na sabik na mga fans to watch him play sa pag ng PBA Commissioner's Cup. November 5, huwag niyong kalilibutan, Jerome Teng is going to be playing for San Miguel Beer for the first time in his career. And uh, that's something that every fan is looking forward to seeing. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong uh, uh, pagsusubaybay dito sa Play It Right TV. Ito po si Kinito Hanson saying, play it right all the time and see you again. <laughs>